hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are here for the first time make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell icon for future updates all right today we have huawei y8p huawei y8p and it's got huawei id i'm gonna show you just now next connect the wi-fi is connected as you can see next next and now this is trying to activate the device and this is what you see this is it says activate your device all right which means this phone is huawei id locked it's locked with uh, factory reset protection which is huawei id all right so we have to switch off the the phone and after that watch closely you have to connect this test point as you can see that little dot right there you connect it to the ground as you can see i'm demonstrating it with my tweezer right now that's that point to the ground okay that point to the ground that is the test point all right you connect that test point to the ground this to the ground all right so let's get started all right make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and we are going to be using this edl cable all right this edl cable i'm going to leave a link down in this in the description below to show you how you can do your own how you can make this edl cable all right so stick with me and let's enjoy this together all right all right let's go make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so you connect the test point and you insert the cable all right you see first i connected the cable into the phone that's the way it should be done connect the the the, the cable into the phone then later you connect the cable into the computer all right and another thing we need to check is whether the phone is connected to the device uh to the computer through the device manager we need to check from the device manager if our phone is connected all right so i'm gonna okay you see the ports so now you have to connect the the test points and you insert the cable into the computer then it should show from this uh this section this device manager section all right so just watch and also if you insert your phone and it's not showing here make sure you install iSuit on your pc to drive all huawei phones drivers you can see huawei usb com that's recognized the phone after i have connected the test points now you go to the software samsung uh, sigma plus uh and you you click the 710 that's i silicon that's carrying 710 so you click the service and you go straight to the huawei id remove you see remove huawei id you click that section then you wait for the software to boot up or to load up guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel the battery must be connected all right and fully charged then you say yes okay and if it doesn't matter if the charge you can you can perform this operation even at 50 percent or 30 percent or 20 percent it's okay so now we're waiting for the software to perform some operation on the phone once you see this connecting once you see this connecting watch what i'm going to do right now you're going to disconnect the cable from the pc only not from the phone and put it back instantly just within a millisecond okay and you can see the software is responding to the phone right now so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel all right so make sure you take your time while doing this operation while performing this operation don't be in a hurry all right wait for the software to perform the right process all right guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel all right thank you so much we're waiting for the software to to finish up and we are almost done writing data and done as you can see it's done it's done we are done we are done we are done we are done with the huawei id remove okay 
so what you need to do right now is to disconnect the cable from the phone and let the phone boot up first thing the phone is going to do is it's going to perform a, a factory reset on the phone then we we'll wait for the phone to boot up then we we'll continue the setup all right factory reset low level ladies and gentlemen make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel all right let's do this man let's go reset successful all right now the phone needs to boot up and we need to wait for the phone to finish uh booting up then we can continue the setup like i said and here we had this process might take up to like five four minutes or six minutes thereabout so you need to be patient all right now the phone is back to the welcome screen and now we need to continue the process we need to press get started english get started next ne uh, click that that box you tick the box next next make sure you connect your wi-fi right here connect your wi-fi hotspot whatever okay it's connected then you continue the setup next next activating device remember this stage that way that was where the phone was having to our ID lock screen so right now let's see if it's gonna have it right now you see if you see this screen that means the phone does not have our ID lock all right so that is a good news let's continue the setup maybe later leave later guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel agree skip no thanks later 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 set up as a new device try gesture cancel from the top side finish and ladies and gentlemen we are done thank you so much for watching make sure you hit the like button and subscribe see you in the next video cheers